Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to explore one more Drupal API called State API. This API is used to store and retrieve information, uh, specifically state systems information in the database. Uh, this information is meant to be stored uh, where we do not want to export it or deploy it to other environment. So this information is meant to be specific to the system one is working people get confused with uh, considering or they want to know the difference of uh, state api and uh, config api because config api is also used to to uh, store information and retrieve information so the core difference is that config api is used to store data and we want when we want to synchronize or export this data to other environments so for example we are working on local and we if we want to uh, export the same configurations to uh, further environments like stage environment production so in such scenarios we use config api but in scenarios like we where we do not want to export uh, or synchronize this data to other environments or we we want certain data to be specific to a specific uh, to to one environment only so in such cases we use state api uh, in bullet pro, uh, points what i have told you uh, the core difference between the state and config api is that state apis should be used when we do not want our data to be exported it should be used when we want our data to be specific to an individual environment when we want our data to not be deployed to another environment and when we want our uh, state information or data uh, when we are okay if on resetting the database uh, if we are okay that our date state information will be lost so if we are okay with that or if we are okay with all these scenarios then we must use config sorry state api um, one more thing uh, the data we store through the state api is, is stored in the database table key values a great example of storing data in state api is we save uh, when we ran our uh, cron last time that information is specific to our system or to to the specific environments so that is saved in this uh, table through the state api now let's explore I have a custom module called Drupal Hex, and inside this module, I have a form called Settings form. Uh, what a great and unique name! So basically, this module I use this module to experiment or explore Drupal related stuff. So basically, this module has a field called Generic Message, and uh, on saving this message, I have a block which displays this message. Now let's explore this 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 api i'll create one more text field with name site specific message um, site specific message i'll type give it this title and we'll set the default value later now let's refresh it and see what it will print so i can see the new field uh, okay i'm going to remove the default value now you'll see it blank now let's add state api object to our form through dependency injection so i i'm going to use um this I can uh, go and directly use this um, static method Drupal state but what I'm going to do I'm going to go with the standard view which is to inject this uh, uh, this service and use it with dependency injection instead of directly using it in our form so let's use sorry okay 
so let's use call the class i'm going to create object of that service and speak speak We want to understand uh, more about how uh, to work with dependency injection i have created a separate video for that you guys can check out that so i have a variable called state uh, that stores the state uh, object uh, state api object to perform state api related uh, uh, functions through this object and i have created an instance of that with inside this create method and i have defined my property uh, class property state inside the constructor method now i'm going simply go to uh, this state and sorry and define default value so for default value i'm going to do is this state get the name of my uh, state state variable or state information so that let me name it as drupal hex dot site specific message and for setting this i'm getting the value here i'm not setting it anywhere for setting it let me say set it so for storing so the site specific Drupal hex message to state Drupal hex state message using state and now i'm going to use it how huh? sorry this state using the method c set of state api i'll define the it, it, it is like key and value here so my key is this is the key I'm going to go with and value this is going to be my value and this is sorry this is the machine name of my xp so this is going to be my value let's see this this is my local this is local setup save it and it is saved okay now now let's go my still minus let's what i'm doing now i'm checking it inside the table as i told you the data state information is saved in the table key value so i'm going to check it inside the inside the table so okay select star from the value table limit one so i'm going to show the uh, the structure of that table so it looked like this now i'm going to search for my data from key underscore value where the name is the name of our state information is this has data for data this is local setup and if i want to check if i will be having this data in the configuration 
as configuration because this is give me a second No, okay, so for that, I'm going to do what I'll simply go to my line and export the configurations. And uh, my configuration it is saying that you have not changed your configuration because I'm not saving it in as a configuration, uh, I'm saving it as a a state variable and we have seen how to retrieve the information from state api how to and then how to set or insert the information through the state api now let's explore how to delete the data through state api so for that i am going to create a button and on clicking on that button we will delete the data that we have saved inside uh, uh, this through this field and inside this state key so for that from delete state data i'm going to use the i'll use these copy to save time type button uh, value is delete specific message and the method I'm going to call on clicking on this button will be submit this and delete state info state data and that it is for this the method i'm going to copy the same method here but i'll change the name here and a little bit description delete state data of this Yes, and I'm going to remove everything and this to delete site specific to collect state message using state API. And I'm going to use remove this and simply delete method of state API that is it, and pass on the key of, of the state that I want to delete. Now I'm going to see if I am getting any error. Yes, I have the error. So it is saying that I okay, I have missed one parameter. So let's test it. For this, let me run this select query, which is basically getting the uh, getting all the value from key value table and with this name which is r this is the key of r state data now let's delete it okay it has not run let me change it to submit sorry let's save it okay now empty it has data now let's delete it it should delete so you see there is no data so it has deleted so till now we have understood what state api is and there are three methods of it uh, set get and delete set to retrieve data get sorry get to retrieve data set to insert data and delete to delete the data um okay thank you